Check out the craziest Royal Ghost deck you've ever seen today. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Ray here and welcome back to another Clash Royale video and today we're back with a very, very wacky deck and uh, that is this Spawner Royal Ghost deck that even features the Mirror card. This deck is super duper crazy and surprisingly has done very well in the current meta. Uh, Royal Ghost is really, really good in the meta right now. No one knows how to really defend it. As you can see, it can be all these different kinds of matchups. So without further ado, guys, uh, let's just go ahead, hop into this 12th battle. And hopefully, guys, we can get ourselves a 12-1 win in this classic challenge all right so this 12th battle is going to be against a korean player from a korean clan uh so good luck to this guy and uh, let's see what this guy is using now all right looks like he's got a princess so first impressions okay uh probably log bait now i didn't have a good hand to counter that so i had to place down an inferno dragon which is pretty risky but uh, now that he placed down a princess yep looks like it is log bait and i think i failed that tornado yep oh my god tornado failed to activate the king's tower i had placed it one tile too far over and um uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to be going well for us. So let's go ahead and get a barb hut down. He's going to rock it. I hate people who rocket my barb hut because there's no way for me to build up a huge push at all. Now, it looks like this guy also has skeleton army, which is definitely not what you would normally see from a spell bait deck. But whatever, uh, skeleton army is not that good in my opinion. So uh, I'll just take it. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get another hut down. Obviously, with the two huts as well as the mirror, uh, you can pretty much outcycle his uh, rocket every single time. And there we go, guys. Royal Ghost with that cloak gets the tower. Looks like he's got a hog rider as well. So kind of like a, uh, a hybrid between log bait and hog. So, um... Yeah, I had to use a tornado there, so unfortunately I don't have it for the goblin barrel. Obviously I can mirror it, but like I, I don't think that would be a good decision. So he's gonna panic and place down an inferno tower. Don't know if I agree with that. Uh, but now as we save up the ten elixir, I think I'm just gonna get a barb hut again with spell bait. I love placing my barb hut right there because there's no way for him to rocket the barb hut as well as a tower. He's got to choose, and it's the best way to get two huts down against Spellbait. And uh, here, uh, let's see, I'm thinking about putting a Mirror Ghost down, but um, uh, let's just focus on building up our huts. He's going to use his rocket on the Barbarian hut, so I can put down a hut safely behind the tower. And uh, we have a huge push on the tower right there. Uh, there we go. Bring the tower down to 12-14 in the last minute. So looking pretty good. We are pretty much dominating this battle right now. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, fireball out that princess. We don't want it splashing out our units because princess uh, is really bad against spawners. It can just take out absolutely everything. So here, let's go ahead and tornado the goblins back as well as put down a royal ghost to take that out. And unfortunately, we're going to take a bit of damage right there, but uh, let's go ahead. Our towers can take it, and let's go ahead and get another Barbarian Hut down. Uh, he's going to place down an Inferno Tower. Not sure if I agree with that again, um, but uh, let's just take it. And uh, he's got another Skeleton Army. And there we go, guys. Three Huts are up and against that Arena Tower right there. With 14 seconds left, let's go ahead and Fireball out that... Um, 
the goblin gang right there obviously we have a mirror fireball to take out the last four or five hundred hit points off the tower if we have to so uh we, we've almost got this game in the back guys so let's go ahead tornado everything in front of the tower including that princess we got a mirror uh royal ghost right there and that's gonna go ahead charge into the tower let's go ahead start spamming everything and uh, hopefully the royal ghost can make it to the tower one of the royal ghosts do and there we go guys that is going to be game as the royal ghost finishes off that arena tower grabbing ourselves a 12 win classic challenge with a spawner royal ghost deck rg spawner op let's see in the next few days as the meta begins to shift but anyways guys here is the 12 win challenge let's go ahead hop into the chest opening 2000 gold three zappies onto level 5 29 barbarians seven ice golems 60 uh, skeleton barrels one executioner and that is the chest guys and uh here is the uh here's a crown chest actually uh, let's go ahead open that up uh, let's see it not much out of it not the best chest uh, but anyways guys here is the deck one more time spawners ghosts really really wacky you will never see this anywhere else but anyways guys that is all the time for today's video if you enjoyed please like them below as well as a subscription to my channel and as always this is legend array and i'm signing off see you guys next time what are you waiting for Subscribe to my channel. Sub sub subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. Sub sub subscribe to my channel.